Hi everyone. Hi I guess everyone can hear me well. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Konstantin. I work at the Deutsche Bank Tech Center in Moscow. And uh, in this talk, I'd like to present and describe some uh, technical problems that uh, I faced in my day to day work and how new tracing and performance evaluation tools that are available in recent. Uh, in, in our uh, industry, it's quite recent, but for everyone there, they have been in the kernel for a few while. Uh, and so, how these tools have helped me to, you know, to investigate and evaluate uh, these issues. Um, uh, so, I'm a DevOps engineer in a Deutsche Bank, and uh, my main focus is infrastructure. Uh, for trading applications, uh, in particular, we make a technology to trade uh, on Forex, Forex Exchange. I guess everyone is familiar with this. Um, uh, my interests are, and also focus on the work of containers, configuration automation, uh, configuration management, and also performance simulation and uh, kernel technologies that are. Uh, uh, Kernel technologies and performance tools uh, that uh, can be used to evaluate performance. Uh, so the agenda for this talk is uh, to describe my use cases. Um, uh, okay, let's start uh, case number one. Uh, I have a program that allocates several uh, gigabytes of memory. Perform some math calculations uh, using data stored in this memory, um, and after the system update and software update uh, on one of the servers, program runs 50% loading. Um, assumptions. Maybe someone have uh, any assumptions? Anyone? <laughs> okay. My, my first assumption is uh, that the uh, configuration issue broke, uh, that came with the software update broke the setup. Uh, also, uh, I thought that the uh, load on the system somehow increased, uh, and of course, maybe some hardware problems. Um, uh, I started my investigation with conventional uh, tools like uptime, top, PS, uh, and uh, I found that. Uh, uh, the setup is okay uh, in terms of application and uh, only the application is running, no per side load, no additional pro processes. Uh, <coughs> the next, uh, 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 I made a breakdown of, uh, uh, of program run and use time utility and it showed me that on the healthy server uh, it uses uh, it spends in, uh, 40 in, in, 140 milliseconds in user space and two and more than half seconds in system. And in practice server, the user space is the same, and the system time spent in the kernel increase, and it was about 50%. So, how to determine what happened in the kernel, what, uh, uh, what was the issue? The first is, uh, assumption with this is to, that some system calls uh, have lasted for more time, and uh, that, that was uh, the, the case. And uh, I ran the S trace uh, in the cumulative mode that counts system calls, and as you can see, uh, about 100% of system call time that uh, the program spent in system calls uh, was in MMAP, and uh, on the impacted server it was only uh, a few milliseconds slower, so, uh, like 259 milliseconds and 262. So it's, it was not the actual case. Uh, the next assumption is uh, interrupts uh, in this stat and help me with this. Uh, uh, 
all, all the tools like Amstad and EOS, Amstad have very long output and are uh, truncated in, in uh, didn't include this in my slides. Uh, uh, I also I, I, I'd only like to mention that I use RQ and soft uh, fields. So and uh, this tool showed me that there was no actual uh, RQ load on the server. Uh, so what to do next? Uh, I started the record on the program and then part of the report. I didn't uh, include the actual uh, uh, run commands. I think they're pretty, pretty simple, but perfect in, uh, in your program. And what, what, what I have found out uh, that uh, uh, the most time in uh, on the normal setup, uh, my program was based in the average C kernel function, and uh, on the impacted uh, server, the profile is a little bit different. Uh, I see two more uh, two new fun functions, um, and <coughs> isolate my great page range and compression error. Uh, where these functions come from? Uh, they both, both define the uh, contraction that does C, and uh, documentation says that this is the memory compression subsystem of Linux kernel, kernel that um, uh, defragmentates uh, uh, pages' uh, memory zones uh, to have continuous. Uh, uh, blocks uh, where possible, and uh, uh, that's, that's compact, somehow impacted uh, the, uh, the run of my program. Uh, so, quick moving uh, on the issue revealed that um, uh, this documentation, uh, uh, when used with huge, huge pages, uh, transparent huge pages, caused this behavior. And, uh, Disabling this uh, solve the issue. How that how that can, could happen? Uh, it was uh, just a configuration issue, uh, a broken uh, link to init script uh, that uh, was intended to disable this uh, this feature, but on new server it, it was broken. Uh, so that, that's the case number one. Uh, this number two. Sorry, <coughs> which kernel version was the three zero? <laughs> it should be much better now. Uh, the question is, what kernel version is uh, I was using? Is three zero in CS uh, Enterprise? But I think it's patched somehow, and it's not like vanilla the three zero. Um, but. <coughs> I'm just a system administrator that uses yeah. the kernel not uh, uh, figuring out what uh, I have or what I have not in Europe because in the enterprise world uh, you have kernel that are uh, supplied by the vendor and you, can, and you just deal with it. Just FYI, he's one of the people that works on that code. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> but since 3.12, yeah, he, he he worked as, he works on that code, but not at three zero. It should be much better. <laughs> you shouldn't have to disable the defragmentation anymore. It should be okay with the defaults in the recent kernel. <laughs> well, we can read the new the new versions. <laughs> okay, case number two. <clears throat> Uh, first, the setup server constantly spends 30% of time in the system. Uh, no production software running yet, and uh, what's the problem? My first assumptions. Uh, maybe anyone have assumptions about this issue? Uh, good look. <laughs> uh, it was uh, like I didn't have any assumption because uh, there is no load on the server. Uh, maybe interrupts, but there's no law um, Okay, we now start uh, with the work and uh, collect a profile for the whole system. And uh, I get the, the similar out, output. It's a little bit corrupted. Uh, 
and uh, uh, it seems like uh, there is no particular visible uh, uh, big time consumer in this out. Only the idols, uh, into idle function that does nothing because the system is idle. Uh, uh, Flame graphs help you to, to resolve this. Um, I broke a little bit the image because uh, at the left uh, there is nothing interesting, but uh, let, let me return to the previous. Uh, as you can see, 3% of the time the system spends in acquiring the lock, the spin lock, uh, but in the lot of in the traces, uh, a lot of uh, if you uh, if you create a profile on the average system, you can find a lot of spin logs uh, acquiring functions in different use cases, and that uh, doesn't say anything helpful. So I created the flame graph, and uh, here it's more descriptive, and I can see that uh, this RQ save, which starts here, is uh, was called from CPU frequency scale code. It starts also from, from here. Um, and uh, I, I Google, uh, not Google, but grab the kernel code a little bit for the do DBS timer function. Uh, and uh, my conclusion was that uh, on the system with uh, 64 cores, uh, there's somehow <coughs> there is a global lock in the new frequency scaling code, and all the cores have uh, contents for this for this lock, and this uh, leads to this sensible contention and uh, to this system load. Uh, so the remediation is. Uh, the, it's uh, also simple, uh, like disables frequency scaling, uh, use the performance uh, garner. Uh, this also was a configuration issue on the server, the patch was broken, and uh, the new script also was, uh, didn't handle the, uh, this setup. I predict uh, I will be now told that in New York kernels, <laughs> this was also fixed. Okay, case number three. Uh, mm -hmm. Synchronous writes take too much time to complete 10 seconds. Uh, I also had no idea why this happens. Like, I read a lot of uh, posts on uh, LWN where the write back was described, uh, problems with write back described, but uh, there was <coughs> assumptions that uh, make it this uh, buffer load problem, but uh, I, can, uh, I can't uh, measurements that I collected from the system and didn't fit very well to my understanding of the buffer load problem. So uh, I tried to investigate it. Um, uh, the simple is just as that, and I see that uh, my disk is utilized, is fully utilized, and but the service time is okay, like <coughs> two milliseconds. Uh, service time, I mean that uh, the time, uh, the time spent actually serving uh, the disk request, not the uh, waiting in the queue, and that waiting in the queue time was uh, per counting milliseconds. Uh, I tried to diagnose it with a trace and it it's uh, when uh, subsystem I put uh, I enabled uh, trace in a block uh, insert the actual what it is Q block Q insert function and event and uh, complete function and I saw that uh, it, it uh, uh, takes uh, four milliseconds and, and it correlates with the previous output of IOSTAT and it's okay. Uh, so what happens? Uh, uh, I also ran S-trace but I didn't include it in this slide uh, and I 
I saw that it seemed to uh, function to uh, about 10 seconds. Uh, so I used to function graph uh, plugin of uh, trace, and it, it told me that it was indeed 10 seconds, and I then uh, did a little bit deeper, and uh, at the end uh, I, I spotted the part that took the most time, and it was the function that waited, waited on journaling diamond, uh, in journal demo that waited uh, for some event to proceed and to actually complete uh, the requests of uh, uh, journal and commit. Um, uh, it, it didn't, uh, I didn't get much information from the pre previous uh, <coughs> step. I, I just uh, Notice that uh, for some reason we schedule and wait for 10 seconds. Uh, so I tried to figure out what happened between in, in, during this uh, during the, this while while the process is sleeping. And uh, uh, so lots of uh, requests from right back code uh, because there was. Uh, Another process uh, heavily writing to the disk. It, actually, it was uh, uh, debug logging of another process, and, and it generated a lot of right, right, right back uh, requests. Uh, so I tried to play with the uh, data ratio, and uh, it helped me a little bit. Uh, so, the, not 10 seconds, but about one second, but it's for me. It's also another. It's left like an open question why uh, journaling can advance while uh, the system is under right back. Maybe someone have faced this also. No, maybe it's also fixed in your gear. Well, it depends on your hardware configuration where you're writing the journal to a Dedicated journal device, or if you write the same as journal related. Yes, yes. Okay. But it, it wasn't it wasn't the regular situation because the load on the box was very uh, very little, and it just uh, happened after a software upgrade. Someone left the debug state in the box. It was like huge. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, about your comment uh, about uh, the right back uh, basically installing the system. I've, been, uh, I've seen that quite a few times uh, in the past, where basically, as soon as you fill your page cache, you end up uh, pushing back on, on, on uh, the, the next writer. Uh, independently of which writer that is, uh, so I mean this this can create significant delays uh, in the system. Um, so I don't think this is fixed, as far as I know. Yeah, you you, you can throttle it. Oh, uh, please use the mic. No, I mean you you can throttle the right back. Just, just contribute it. I think. Yeah. <coughs> It's you can use the mic, and we, we record it by camera. Oh, really? So uh, you can you can throw it the right back right now. Uh, it was contributed by Facebook a while ago. And so you basically, that's a good system. The entire system can take that to the audience. Thank you. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, have you had a chance to try the critical path analysis from LTT engine? No. That, that could be interesting for that type of uh, problem where you don't know where to look at it. It will tell you exactly what is on the critical path and what proportion was taken by each. But you have a kernel trace, everything, you'll see a lot of things. 
Other questions? So it's still morning. I guess after coffee, people will be more awake. Good. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you.